Hello and good morning. You're watching the latest news spotted only here on Jamaica News Online TV. Details coming up after the break. Student steals $215,000 phone. Imagine sending your kid to university expecting a good grade and this is what happened you have to go try to bail them out of jail a university student who admitted to stealing a cellular phone was scolded by a senior parish judge who stretched stressed she ought to have known better and the senior judge is right the senior parish judge was vocal in her disappointment as she scolded miss lint who appeared in the Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court on Monday to be sentenced for larceny by trick. Prosecutors contend that the complainant was selling an iPhone costing $215,000 and Miss Lint contacted him, stating her interest in the product. It is reported that Lint met with the complainant and was handed the phone while she was seated in a, in a vehicle. The court heard that upon receiving the iPhone, the driver of the motor vehicle in which Lint was seated sped off. This woman is not only a thief, but a scammer. Imagine being a university student. You think she should have known better. I have no intention of letting you go. You are a university student and I sit here as judge, I am very mindful that I send messages to members of the public so I can't come in here and pet and powder people and sob sob with people. This is serious business. Look at the man without use of his phone and you know better. Look at that. You are the percentage of those who know better, who are supposed to do better. You are remanded in custody, the judge said. It was further shared with the court that the phone has not yet been recovered. The girl says she don't have it. She gave it to a guy and she gave it in, in a phone business. And she named the name of the guy. So that guy, this is the thing, you know. This is the thing with investigations in a Jamaica. The guy who drove the vehicle should have been locked up. The person who bought the, the stolen um, phone should have been locked up. The judge said to her, look, you're only 22 years old and you're wasting your time. And you think you would get away with it. Lint, who is currently unemployed, said, replied to the judge, that she didn't put much thought into it. The judge then ordered that Lint make restitution in the amount of $230,000 for stealing the man's phone and for the inconvenience he might have faced as a result of the theft. So, the, 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 the girl asked, so what about bail? So if I pay the money, I won't be released? She asked nervously from the prisoner doc. And the judge tell her, say, listen, she can't make any promise to release her because it's a criminal court she's in and it's a serious business. And she said, very often, she find out that people come in there and the lawyers ask that them just not serve time. Them just pay the money and don't serve time. And she said, listen, me can't subscribe to that thing. And as long as she's judge in that parish, it will not happen. And she says, listen, this means consequences that are wrong have to be dealt with. The young woman now, who should still have been in school, she is expected to make payment November 14 when she come back into court. Imagine stealing the man phone and do not expect to be punished for it. She thought she would only pay for the phone and walk, but stealing the man phone is not the same as borrowing it, and it get damaged. A crime is a crime, 
and the judge is correct not to let her off easily. Guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment down below.